Please read the following instructions carefully. Before getting started with using the Measure On app, you can connect your laser rangefinder with your smartphone to take advantage of all of its features. You can connect your Bosch Green or your Bosch Blue laser rangefinders with a C via Bluetooth. To set up a connection, first switch on your laser rangefinder and activate Bluetooth. Then, activate Bluetooth on your smartphone. Open the Measure On app. Tap the Bluetooth icon in the bottom left corner and then select your tool. Then tap Connect. If you are having problems with setting up a connection, just tap the question mark icon. Of course, you can also set up a connection later or use the Measure On app without connecting a laser rangefinder. This is Measure On's home screen. Before starting your first project or workspace, you can easily change the unit of measurement and decimal places by tapping the icon in the upper left corner. Then tap App Settings and find the measurement unit and decimal place under Measurement Settings. You can also change the language settings in this menu. Tap the Back button in the upper left corner to return to the previous screen. If at any time you have problems with the connection or any other issues, please visit this menu to show the FAQs or contact our app support. The app can be used offline and without entering a Bosch ID. However, if you want to enable the cloud services to back up and synchronize your data and access your projects from anywhere, you have to log in with your Bosch ID and sign up for the Measure On Cloud. Tap Done to get back to the app's home screen. Now you want to create your first project. It is up to you if you want to start a whole project or just a workspace. Tap the plus button in order to see the two options. A project can contain a vast number of workspaces, client details, and a project photo. A single workspace can contain several floor plans, photos, and notes, and can be moved into a project at a later stage. Let's start with a new project first. You can add a project photo by tapping the photo icon at the top. Take a photo or pick a photo from your camera roll. Then you can add client information. It is not mandatory to do so, though it helps you to maintain an overview. Tap the check button to save the information. You can also change the project name by going back to the home screen and then tapping the three horizontal dots in the project thumbnail. Rename your project. Now open your project again. Add a new workspace by tapping the plus icon and then workspace. Every workspace can be used like an endless digital paper. Individual rooms, floor plans, measurements, photos and notes can be added easily. Tap room sketch to start drawing a new floor plan with your finger. Now you are working in the sketch mode. Use it to draw a floor plan with your finger. As soon as you close a room, the app will automatically switch into the measuring mode, in which you can add measurements to the sketch walls. You can also switch into the measuring mode manually, in case you sketch a room that's not closed. You can only sketch one room at a time but then arrange endless room sketches on your workspace. 
To add a floor plan, you can simply draw it with your fingers. It will then automatically transfer to a sketch with straight lines. You can also manually adjust it in order to achieve 90 degree right angles. It might happen that there's an unnecessary wall in your room sketch. To delete it, select the wall by tapping it and then tap delete in the bottom right corner. You can now switch back to the sketch mode if you want or you just connect the wall via drag and drop. You can also adjust your room's corners to set 90 degree angles by simply dragging the corners. If you don't want angles to automatically snap in at 90 degrees, you can change this in the app settings. Tap on a wall to select it. The wall is now highlighted in blue. Then, take a measurement with your laser rangefinder. The measured value will be attached to the selected wall automatically. Your room sketch walls will automatically be scaled according to the measured values. A second way to add in measured values is by remote measure. Select another wall, then tap the remote measure button in the bottom area of your smartphone. Tap once to activate the laser. When tapping a second time, you will trigger the measurement. Now the measured value has been added to the wall. Please note that this function is only supported by Bosch GLMC laser rangefinders. Now you can add a measured value to the bottom wall. First, measure the bottom wall in your room without having a wall selected. Now the measured value shows in the horizontal list at the bottom. You can swipe through the list to find your measured value. The newest value always pops up on the very left. Or tap on Show All to see all of your measurements in a vertical list. Drag the grey drawer to the top to see the full list. You can also delete unwanted measurements from this list. You can now add the measured value to the bottom wall via drag and drop. Now select the upper wall. You can also add in a value manually by tapping the blue button in the bottom area. Be careful. Rooms usually don't have opposite walls with the exact same length. If you set up a room with 90 degree angles, but measure walls that aren't even, then the wall length will be shown in brackets, since there is a logical conflict and the app does not know the true values of the room layout and exact angles. You can still proceed with this room sketch, but you can, for example, not calculate the floor area. If you want to remove or add in a deleted value again, just tap the Undo or Redo button. To add the room's height, tap on Height in the bottom left corner and then add the height via one of the four measuring types we've just covered. To get into the wall view mode, first select a wall and then tap view wall on the bottom. Measure on switches now from the bird's eye view showing the room sketch into the wall view, showing one wall with its height and width. By tapping the arrows on the left and right, you can jump between the walls of your room sketch. Tap the plus button to add doors and windows to your wall. In this mode, you can also see the metadata of your wall. The wall gross area shows the value of the full wall area. The wall net area shows the value of the wall area minus windows and doors. Tap Add Door to add a door to your wall. Tap Add Window to add a window to your wall. After adding a door or window, you can simply move it to its individual position via drag and drop. Individual measurements can then also be added to the doors and windows. Tap the back button once to get back to the room sketch edit mode. Then use it again to get to the workspace. Here you find the metadata of the room sketch when selected. Change the name of your room sketch by tapping rename. Tap the plus button to add a photo to your workspace. 
Either take a new photo or select one from your camera roll. Now you can see the photo options and add elements. Tap the arrow icon to add an arrow to your photo. Position the arrow's end via drag and drop. The magnifier helps you to place your line at exactly the right position. With the arrow selected, you can then add a measurement to your item. If you want to learn how to add measured values, jump to chapter 6, Adding Measurements. You can also change the colour and the strength of the line at the bottom of your screen. Now tap the text icon and then tap the picture to add a text to your arrow. Tap the square button at the bottom of your screen, then draw a rectangle with your finger. Keep the rectangle selected. To transfer an area value from your laser rangefinder, you first have to select the area mode on your laser rangefinder, then measure height first, and then width. Now the measured value is transferred to your rectangle automatically. Proceed similarly to add an angle's inclination. Return to your workspace by tapping back. Select the photo and rename it. To add a note, tap the plus button and select note. Now you can organise your room sketches, photos and notes in your workspace according to your personal needs. Move them via drag and drop wherever you want. Resize them and also shrink the note by tapping on the note and then tapping shrink. You can also drop them onto your room sketch if you want to group them and to be attached to a specific position. A note or photo can as easily be removed from a room sketch. Tap on the room sketch, then pull up the drawer if you want to see the items attached to it. Tap on photos and notes as well to show the item's information and options. Note that you cannot modify your sketches, photos and notes by mistake in this mode. You can edit them only in the edit mode. To change the name of your workspace, tap the three dots in the upper right corner and then rename. Leave the workspace by tapping back, then leave the project by again tapping back. Now you can see the home screen and your project with a little paper icon showing the number of workspaces stored in it. We quickly added three new workspaces to your home screen. To group these workspaces and transform them into a project, just drag and drop one workspace onto the other. Now a new project with your two workspaces has been created. Now add the third workspace into your newly created project via drag and drop. A workspace can also be moved in and out of projects. Just tap the three dots in the workspace thumbnail, then select the project and tap the blue Move Workspace Here button. You can easily sort your projects and workspaces by tapping the arrows on the upper right corner. If you want to search for a workspace or project, just tap the magnifier on the upper right corner. You can find more information at www.bosch-professional.com forward slash measure on forward slash.